Throughout the 66-year history of the NBA, players have been compared and contrasted to see who is the best in their given position. Today I want to focus on determining which player is the greatest small forward in all of the NBA's history. Many people believe that the greatest small forward to ever play the game is Larry Bird. But it is my contention that LeBron James, who is currently active, is the best small forward that the NBA has ever seen. I will compare these two NBA uh, legends through two avenues of reasoning. First I will compare their individual statistics and accolades and then I will discuss the supporting cast of each player to determine who is the best small forward of all time. First the comparison of these two players by statistics shows that LeBron is a much superior player um, in his position. Uh, in the major categories of statistics which are points, assists, rebounds, steals, um, and blocks, LeBron holds an edge in all the categories except for rebounds. LeBron has played in the league for 10 years and is already 27th on the all-time list for career points with 23,170 points. Larry Bird is 31st on that same list with 21,000 points um, through 13 seasons. Among their impressive list of accolades, Larry Bird has three league MVPs and three NBA championships in a total of five appearances. LeBron James has four league MVP awards and has won two championships in his four appearances. LeBron James is currently 29 years old and he has the opportunity to play for uh, play at a high level for the next five to six years. If this happens, he will not only surpass Larry Bird's um, statistical records, but he will shatter all of the career numbers that Larry Bird has accumulated over his 13-year career. Secondly, I've taken a look at the supporting cast of these players over their careers in the NBA. Uh, LeBron James, for his first six seasons, played in Cleveland with the Cavaliers. And he did not have many uh, good supporting teammates and had virtually no support from scoring standpoint. You will not find a player from that team in the Hall of Fame, which has certain standards for greatness. When he made the move to Miami, he joined forces with superstars Chris Bosh and Dwayne Wade. Dwayne Wade had won a championship before LeBron's arrival, and he's regarded as one of the best shooting guards of all time in his own right. Chris Bosh is a very good power forward, but he may not be a Hall of Fame caliber player by the end of his career. But when we take a look at Larry Bird and the players that he played with, he had a plethora of help on the court. Robert Parrish and Kevin McHale were his teammates for the majority of his career, and they are both listed as two of the 50 greatest players to ever play the game, regardless of position. Larry also had help from point guard Dennis Johnson, who won an MVP in his own right. Robert Parrish and Kevin McHale are also both Hall of Famers, and McHale is noted as one of the top power forwards to ever play the game. It is clear that through their careers, Larry Bird had more help from his supporting cast, making LeBron's rise to greatness much more difficult. In conclusion, through statistics that I found on NBA.com and BasketballReference.com and the information regarding each player's supporting cast, LeBron James is the best small forward in the history of the NBA. His statistics were superior in almost every category and his teammates did not carry the same load as the teammates of Larry Bird. Larry had played three more seasons than LeBron's current total and we can assume based on career averages that LeBron will not only pass Larry Bird in every category but he will be in the conversation for the greatest player of all time.